At standard atmospheric pressure, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Making the water hotter will not make it more boiled. By the same token, studying more will not make you more of a professional engineer. There's no honors or acknowledgments given for a perfect test score. In fact, they only share your scoring details with you if you fail. Therefore, we shouldn't try to ace the PE exam. Of course, planning to barely make the cut is not a good strategy either. When it comes to taking a big test, the risk of being underprepared far outweighs the cost of being overprepared. We're engineers, so we want to have a factor of safety. If your safety margin is big, then you're going to be really confident on test day, but that also means you probably wasted some time during your study process. If it's too small, you didn't spend enough time and there's a risk you might fail. The goal of this course is to find the happy medium. So how should you use this course? You should actively and independently solve each problem using the guidance in the videos as sparingly as possible. Less is more. Under no circumstances should you sit back with a bowl of popcorn and watch this course like a movie. After seven hours, you'll feel like you've learned a lot because you'll be exposed to a lot of concepts, but your ability to actually work through problems step by step will be unchanged from when you started. Instead, you should pause the video at the beginning and try it on your own until you get stuck. Then play it, watch until you get some ideas. Then try to apply those ideas. Maybe you'll go down some dead ends. That's fine. See where it takes you. If you get stuck again, come back, play more of the video, pause it again. You may have to step through the entire video in little pieces like this. That will lead to a better result than watching the video passively and expecting to learn how to solve problems that way. Once you get the right answer, if you haven't already watched the whole video, go ahead and watch it. And if you see some alternate approaches that maybe you hadn't considered, then you can take those on board and that'll make you a more flexible and versatile problem solver going forward. And on the other hand, if you use some approaches that I'm not aware of, please drop me a comment, email. I would love to improve my approach and also improve this course for others. The point is to struggle a bit. New connections and insights are more memorable when we have to earn them. Try to resist the urge to take the easy way out. If you actively solve these problems alongside the videos, I know you'll build a solid margin of safety by the end of this course.